Hello guys, thank you for purchasing bulk mockup. In this quick video, I will take you through a quick demonstration of bulk mockup and how you can quickly get started generating your mockups using bulk mockup. Once you have installed bulk mockup, you can access the plugin from plugin menu of Photoshop. Go to plugins and bulk mockup. This is our bulk mockup dialog box. The bulk mockup dialog box is divided into two tabs, main and settings. Before I delve deeper into all the settings here, let us take a look at the files that we have. For this demo purpose, I have few mockup template and few design files. And then we have our export folder which is empty. When you are using bulk mockup to create your mockup template, the best workflow is to follow this structure. Keep all your mockup template inside one folder and then arrange all your design file inside another folder. Make sure there are no nested folder or different kinds of file inside these two folders. Mockup folder should only have mockup template and design file folder should only have design file. You can have all these three folders into the same directory or you can have it at any places. Before I proceed further, just one more crucial thing that you need to know before I'll open the mockup folder and open one of the templates in Photoshop. Look at the layer structure of this mockup template. If you have already worked with mockup template, you already know that the mockup template works on the smart object layer. A smart object layer can be easily identified by this small icon on the bottom right corner of the layers thumbnail. So, to work on any mockup template, the basic control is on the smart object layer. On this mockup template, we have one, two, and three smart object layers. In your mockup template that you'll be using, there can be more than one smart object layer, which could be very confusing. For here, we have your design layer, and then this design, and the tag layer. Okay, so all these three are controls the three different aspects of this mockup template. How bulk mockup generally works is it targets one specific smart object layer and it replaces the design. So you need to identify which smart object layer a bulk mockup is supposed to pick up. So there are three smart object layer here. Now to give instructions to bulk mockup, what you can do is rename the smart object layer. So this is the design layer that controls this design. To rename, double click on this design and we'll rename it as add the red design. Now, renaming it to add the red design forces bulk mockup to work only on this smart object layer. If you do not rename the smart object layer, bulk mockup would automatically pick the first smart object layer from the top. In this case, it will pick up this layer, your design. I'll save this and close. I'll go ahead and do this for all the four templates. This is a one-time thing that you need to do with your templates. And if you have only one smart object layer in your PSD template, you're not supposed to change the name there. So this is the artwork layer. I'll double click and change it to add the red design. I will save it. We'll do the same for the other ones. I have renamed all the smart object layer in this templates. And then we have our design files. We have eight of them here. And then you can create your export folder location anywhere. Now, let us jump back to Photoshop. We'll go to plugins, bulk mockup. Now on the main step, there are three options. The first one is PSD template folder. So we'll click on this three dotted icons and we'll select our mockup template folder. It shows five items. We saved five PSD template. Click on open. Then design file folder location. Click on this browse option and then select our design file location. And then export folder. Select the export location from this. Now this resize method. So there are different ways you can resize the design files on the smart object layer. The first one is fill canvas stretch. Whatever option we select, the same is clearly demonstrated on these two icons, how the design file will be resized. Okay, so let us try with the first one. 
it stretches the design file. Let us try with the second one. Fit canvas without cropping. But clearly see what this means. Then fill canvas, cropping the extra. Constraint by height. Constraint by width. Do not resize. And finally we have replace content. For this demonstration we will use fill canvas without cropping. So our design file does not stretch. It fits into the canvas and there is no cropping involved. So we will select this. Now, before we start generating, let us take a look at the settings panel. First, we have design. So, we do not want our design files to scale. So, we will have to not scale. We do not want any alignment. You could select on the top if you want all your design files to be aligned on the top. Keep it at the center. Then, we have two settings here. Resize to guides and align to guides. And these are advanced settings. You can learn more about it in the detailed tutorial that is available in the tutorial section of the website. We will skip this two option for this video. Then we go back to the second tab that is PST template tab. Here we can provide what are the file formats that you want to save your exported file. So here we have JPG, PNG, TIFF, PST. The green item indicates that it is active. So we want JPG to be saved. If you want more than one format, you can select PNG as well. So Valcova will export PNG as well. So you can select any of this or you can select all of them. And also create subfolder for each. For now, we'll select only jpg so we want only jpg exports then size of the exported documents so if you want all your design files or the templates to be of certain size you can provide the resize to longest side here in pixels or maybe you can also use the scale the scale value is in percentage so for this demo i'll keep it as do not resize and then again we have a resolution of the exported document in this case i will keep it as is now let us head back to the third tab we have export so export the first option here is export to subfolders so the exported mockups we can arrange it in design file which means there will be an subfolder for each artwork created and inside the subfolder for each artwork new mockup will be exported if we select psd mockup there will be a subfolder created for psd mockup so either you can organize the exported mockups according to the psd template or according to design file I'll keep design file and you can also select all in export folder if you want all your mockup templates to be dumped in one folder. So we'll keep design file and then we have exported file name pattern. Again, you can provide the PSD name, artwork file name. So this is the default naming for the exported file. If you want, you can select the design file name and then mockup template name. You can also use incremental and suffix value. So it depends on you how you want the file name convention to be. Now, all the settings are done. Let me minimize this. We'll go to main tab and click on start generating. Bulk mockup will open the first mockup template and it will work on the at the rate design smart object layer that we had renamed. And it is already working. Let me open the export folder and see what has happening on the folder. And this is our exported mockup. So let bulk mockup work. I hope you understand how bulk mockup works now. So just go ahead and try it out yourself. If you are stuck, feel free to check our video lessons. Or you can also contact our support team. We'll be there to help you out at each step. Thank you for watching this video. And again, thanks a lot for purchasing bulk mockup. I hope bulk mockup will become an integral part of your workflow and save you hours and hours of your time.